Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, uh, last night in uh, That's right. at That's the right. Staples Center right. in Los Angeles, Kobe Bryant. Uh, they retired not one, but two of his numbers last night. Right. Uh, most of our listeners probably know that when Kobe started out, he wore number eight. Right. And then um, about halfway through his career, he made the switch to number 24. Um, so last night, the Lakers retired both number eight and number 24, which to me is quite an quite an accomplishment for any player, obviously, to have two numbers retired. Yeah, I can't you know, think of another time it's happened. I, I can't either. That's exactly right. But what I want to talk about is, is, is kind of get your take a little bit on where Kobe Bryant's place is in, in the game of basketball. Um, I heard somebody say on TV today that he was a bridge between, uh, he was a bridge between the Jordan magic era and the LeBron era. You know, yeah. if you want to look at yeah. it that way. Okay. Um, yeah. And, and the interesting thing is last night during the halftime ceremony, Magic Johnson, who is the director of basketball operations and vice president or president of operations, yeah introduced him as the greatest Laker of all time, which I thought was interesting, uh, coming from Magic yeah. Johnson, who most people would say is the greatest Laker right. of all time. So right. what's your what's your I know you're you I'm love a, Kobe. I'm a Kobe guy. So obviously I think he's the greatest Laker of all time. Um for I guess for you could throw out any reasons. I mean you got the five championships, okay. You have the eighty one point game. Um you've got the three peat um, you have the, you have the in 08 he won the MVP. I think it's a travesty that he came away with one MVP in his career. I think that in 06 he should have won it too. Um, I think I think Nash won it that year. Yeah, if not mistaken. He Nash won back to back, but 06 he averaged I think it was th- almost 36 points a game. He should have won it that year. Single handedly took them to the playoffs. Um, the 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 um, third all time career in NBA scoring. Just the game winning shots he hit over and over and over. Um, I don't see how you go against that. And I met. I think Magic, I guess you could say, brought them back to prominence in the 80s from where they had been in the, in the Jerry West days. Right. Um, and he, him and Jordan did a lot for the league. And I guess, I guess you could say that, that Bridge is a good um, uh, good way to kind of kind of say that. But, yeah, I, I think he's the best Laker of all time, no doubt. Well, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that. I, I think that when you throw that term around, it's kind of like throwing around who's the greatest Yankee of all time. You know uh, what I mean? It, it, Jeter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, there's so many of them, right? I mean, you got, from the Lakers standpoint, you got Will Chamberlain. I mean, Will Chamberlain was awesome. Kareem right. Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, uh, you know, uh, Kobe Bryant. I mean, there are so many of them out there that you could pick from that, it's hard to really put that tag on on anyone. And really, when you look at Kobe, you know, he won five championships, but the first three were with Shaq. Yeah. So, I mean, if Shaq wasn't there, would, would they have been able to win those championships? I don't know. You know, maybe they would have. Uh, and who knows how many they would have won if, they, if Shaq and Kobe were able to coexist. I mean, they might have won six or seven just among the two of them, you know. Real, real quick here on the breakdown of the 8 and 24, all right, he- Played twenty seasons, ten in each number. Right. Okay. And the and number eight, he played eight hundred and thirty three games, nineteen thousand seven hundred and fifty five points. Number twenty four, he played seven hundred and thirty three games, nineteen thousand five hundred and twenty eight points. You're pretty much split right down the middle. Right, right. And you have the three championships with eight, two with twenty four, but the MVP with twenty four, and then you have ten all stars at twenty four, eight at eight. So pretty much a split his career in half, all the accolades, and that's yeah, they had no choice but to retire both, I think. I think mean, our our uh, our esteemed producer said it best. You, you can't go to a Lakers game in the future and see somebody wearing one of those numbers. No, and, that's right. They, they had no choice. They had no choice yeah. but to but to to do both. And and I think you know when when it comes down to who was the greatest basketball player of all time. I mean, you know me. I'm going to always side with Michael Jordan. I think Michael Jordan was the greatest. He won right. six championships. He won I think five Finals MVPs. Um, he, six. Six. Did he yeah. win all six? Yeah. Okay. He won two. MVP trophies, uh, and he di- he did it with you know he did it with a lot of different players. You know the first three was a certain group, the second three was another certain group. Yeah. Uh, he did have Scottie Pippen, but uh, but Michael but Kobe Bryant's got to be right up there with him. Yeah. I mean Kobe Bryant has to be LeBron. I don't think LeBron can sniff the shoes of Kobe <laughs> Bryant no. and Michael Jordan. No. I mean I don't care what these guys on ESPN no. say. He, he he's he's. He's a he's a mercenary. I mean, he goes from team to team. Who knows where he's going to go next year? All right. All right? He lost Kyrie Irving. The, the, I'm going to say the Cavaliers won't even come out of the East this year. Okay, so <laughs> he can't win it by himself like Michael Jordan could or like Kobe could. So I just I, I don't even put I put him as the third best player of all time. 
right? Yeah. You know, five MVPs in the in the finals. Pro- yeah. No, overall five MVPs. Oh, overall five MVPs, right. league MVPs. Six right. All right, so that's even more impressive. Thank yeah. you, Mister. Our producer cleared that up for us. Uh, 88, 91, 92, 96, 98. There you go. Okay. Five MVPs, uh, five six final MVPs. So yeah, I I mean to me, Michael Jordan's in a, in a class by himself. Yeah. Uh, nah. But LeBron, yeah. I, I'm tired of hearing about LeBron. Okay, he's a he's a he's an extremely athletic basketball player, uh, a great great basketball player, probably in the top three, as A Rod might say, arguably in the top three. Okay, <laughs> but he's nowhere near Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant. I mean, yeah, I just, mean, I, I figure the way his career plays out, he probably finishes second all time in scoring. Probably, um, I don't I don't know that he catches. Kareem, it depends on how long he plays or wants to play, but so he has that going for him. But I, I think, which is nice, which is nice. <laughs> but as we sit here right now, he is. I want to say uh, his record in finals is what three and four, four and four, three and four. Right? He he lost one with Cleveland. He lost one with Miami, didn't he? He lost. Uh, he lost the first one with Cleveland his first time. He's lost two others with Cleveland. So he's three and four. Yeah, he's three and four. He won. They won. They four and four. They won three in Miami, right? No, I thought they only won two in Miami. <laughs> they lost what the first got? one. They lost what the, we got, producer? the first year he was there. The first year he was there, they lost to the Mavericks. Yes. All right. Then well, they won the, two. The, the lockout season. They right. Won. Then they won two in a row. Yeah. And then they lost to the Spurs. Spurs. So they were two and That's two right. in Miami. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then in Cleveland, he's lost three. All right. He lost. He lost. He lost the first time he was with Cleveland. Yeah, and then he's lost two since then. Right. All right. right. So he's he's three and five in the finals. <laughs> our, our producer is our producer is working feverishly to. Uh, uh, let's just go through this. Here. Let's, let's go o- through. O- seven loss. He lost in those seven. All right, here you go. Here you go. All right. Listen. All right. They lost no seven to the Spurs. All right. All right. Um. 11. They lost 11 to the Mavericks. Right. right. And that was with the Heat. The 07 was with the Cavs. Right. They won in 12 and 13. Right. They beat the Thunder in 12 and the Spurs in 13. Right. They lost to the Spurs in 14. Right. And Cavs. they won in 2016. Right. But, right. but they but lost, they lost the to the Warriors. They lost in 2017. And 20 and 15. Yeah. Yeah. So three and five. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. all right. So, so, so LeBron is three and five right. in the finals. Right. Jordan is six and zero oh right. in the finals. Kobe, Kobe is, is what five and two. Five and two. Okay, yeah. so right there. I mean, yeah. if you're the greatest basketball player of all time, you should not lose five finals. No. I mean, no. can you imagine Michael Jordan losing five finals? No. It's just not going to happen. No. Okay, so so yeah, that's but that's really not where we were going with this. <laughs> we kind of got off. We kind of got off on the LeBron the yeah. LeBron train. That's exactly right. But Kobe Bryant. Uh, Tremendous basketball player. I think I told you this once before. The thing that always impressed me about Kobe Bryant, okay, uh, and this is what impressed me when we were talking about golf with Jordan Spieth, why I think Jordan Spieth is the closest that will ever come to Tiger and and why I think Kobe is the closest that will ever come to to Michael Jordan is he's an assassin, okay? In other words, he refuses to lose. He puts a team on his back. All right. And if he has to, he'll take every shot out there yeah. to make sure he wins the game. Right. LeBron's not like that. Okay. Yeah. LeBron is, is more willing to pass it off. All right. Before he's willing to take the shot. And that's how Jordan was. I mean, Jordan was an assassin. Okay. Yeah. And, and I just think, you know, that's what puts Kobe Bryant in that class. Uh, uh, and, and, and Magic Johnson may have been right. I mean, maybe he is the greatest Laker of all time. When you consider what he's been able to accomplish uh, over the course of his career, um, and what he's been able to accomplish for the Laker franchise. Yeah, yeah.